So when you are working on writing a contract and presenting the offer, again, there are some skills in there, but don't worry about needing all those skills right up front. They're ones that will generally be developed as you continue to practice. The more houses you go to, the more sellers you talk to, um, even to your investor buyers, the more presentations you do, the better you get. So don't stop yourself just because you're a little bit worried you're going to do it wrong. In fact, I would challenge you to expect you're going to do some things wrong and to just be okay with it and figure it out, figure out how to fix it when you can. Now, that being said, hopefully it's just a flub of the tongue. You don't do something wrong in the contract. There are certain things for contracts that you need to be careful with. And that's what we cover in week four, are the things that are critical to have in a contract, the things that are just more important. And that could be important for the seller, important to you, or important to your investor buyer. And then there are things that aren't even very critical at all or important. They're just part of the generic language of most contracts. So contract ease is nice to learn. It's important that you understand which paragraphs you can really mess up on and get yourself in trouble with and which ones are just, oh, that's not a big deal. But when you know how to fill out a contract, you're going to be more confident in your presentations and that's what we focus on in week four is contracts are designed to keep everybody safe. So what's important to keep you safe, what's important to watch out for the other people. Um, obviously they need to represent themselves too, but if it looks like you're trying to take advantage of them, that could cause you a problem in the long run. And there are certain states like California, very, very, very specific and very protective of the people that are in foreclosure. So if you're investing in California, whether you live there or not, if you're just investing there, you need to understand how those contracts are different than, say, Texas or Wisconsin. There are definite different things you have to watch out for that could, um, could make it look like you're one of those investors that just takes advantage and preys on people. And that's obviously not the reputation you want, but it's also not the right thing to do. So you just have to make sure your contract reflects that so people know that you really are trying to stay above board and always doing your best to make sure those contracts are legal and ethical.